Hi there, Star Wars Collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Deluxe Chrysanthemum, the regular release Chrysanthemum, which is this one here. And we're also going to be comparing them against the SDCC version, which I've already reviewed on my channel. You may have already watched that video, but we're going to be comparing the two figures, this one and this one. All right, then, so first of all, let's take a look at the packaging. So this is one of those closed box deluxe figures that we are very used to now. We've probably had about 10 of these now, I'd say. And this one is from the Book of Boba Fett. It is Black Chrysanthemum. You can see the name on there. They don't name him Black Chrysanthemum, just Chrysanthemum these days. Sunburst there with a picture of him with some of his other accessories, namely the electrified knuckle dusters that he has there. And there he is in the scene of Tatooine, looking pretty cool. Kenner logo at the bottom. And when we look on the back of the packaging, we have exactly the same image. And then this little white panel, which always tells you what is in the packaging. So you do actually get quite a lot with this chrysanthemum. You get the figure, you get two more sets of hands, you get the jug, you get the little piece of fruit, and you get his main blaster. And the only difference really with the SDCC version in terms of accessories is you get this sort of like gun, which looks like something from Halo with an electric piece that goes on top. You also get his bowcaster. And I think that is actually about it, apart from the head sculpt, which is the main thing that we're gonna be looking at in this video when we compare the two figures. So with all that being said, let's open the packaging, see what's inside. If you happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Actually on the side there, you've got another image of Chrysanthemum drinking from his mug. And on this side, you've got him holding the piece of fruit. Nothing on the bottom. And there you go, that is how the figure is packaged within the inner packaging. He is held in by a piece of cardboard and then you have the little white wax packet with all the accessories inside. All right then, so here is Chrysanthemum out of the packaging and the standard version is on the right hand side. I say standard version because it's not a standard version, is it? It's, it's still a deluxe version. This is just the SDCC exclusive deluxe version. But basically, as you can see, they are pretty much identical in every single way. In fact, the paint apps are virtually identical as well. Sometimes when you get figures released in different formats, sometimes the paint apps are ever so slightly different. I can't really see anything different at all about this figure whatsoever, except for the head, of course, because that is what is different about this Chrysanthemum. And it is a bit of a shame because I think the one with the growling face, the SDCC version, is the better facial expression in my opinion, that's the one I prefer anyway. My son owns this one now, so I'm gonna to have to make do with the deluxe version, the regular release version. Uh, but I thought I'd put them side by side just so you can see them, just so you can basically see that they are pretty much exactly the same figure. I would say perhaps that this deluxe regular version has got maybe slightly more weathering on the armor on the shoulder pad. Just notice that there is a bit more black going on, more of a sort of wash over on the armor there, which this one doesn't. That seems to be pretty clean. And we'll just look at the other shoulder as well. Yes, indeed. So there you go. There is a slight difference. The armor, in fact, all over the armor, the regular release version has like a dark wash over the sort of gold paint. So that is a slight difference there. But apart from that, can't really see too much difference with the figure. All right then, so here are the two head sculpts side by side, so you can take a look at the differences. And of course, the main difference is, is that the SDCC version has an open mouth with his teeth showing and his tongue. He's like sort of roaring there, isn't he? Whereas the other one is a closed mouth Wookiee. They both look awesome, actually, looking at them close up. I do like Chrysanthemum. This one has a bit of character to it. You can see sort of frowning there. You can just imagine him sitting in that uh, cantina waiting for it to kick off and obviously that's you know when it does kick off so that's the main difference really the eyes and everything look pretty much the similar to me it's just literally the mouth um, obviously the paint apps are ever so slightly different on the head as well slightly more gray on the brow there than the one on the right and because this one's got his mouth closed you can see more of the gray on his chin as well but um that is about it really. And you can really see the difference in the armor now as well. Look at all that dark wash that's on the shoulder pad there compared to that one. Yeah, they've really, they really have sort of um, dark wash this whole armor compared to this one. Not too sure why they did that or why they didn't do it on this version, but there you go. 
Two decent head sculpts, just a shame you have to buy both figures to get both versions. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go through all of the accessories because the accessories are exactly the same as the SDCC version. If you wanna see the accessories of the figure, then go watch that video. I will leave a card up there for you to click on and it'll also be on the end screen as well for you to check that out. The only difference is, is that you don't get the two other blasters. Uh, you only get the regular blaster with this figure. So you just don't get the other two, but with this one, you do get the two other sets of hands you get the electric things to go over his knuckle dusters you get the mug you get the piece of fruit and that's about it really but you know some nice accessories to go with your chrysanthemum but at the end of the day that is about it but lovely paintwork on the figure i do like all his braids and uh sort of jewelry that he's got going on really really nice figure and worth the wait to go in our collections. All right then guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As I said, this is really a comparison video rather than a review of the Chrysanthemum. I've already reviewed and basically it's the same figure, except for the head sculpts. That's the only difference really. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I thank you for watching. Thanks to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support means a great deal to me as always. So thank you so much for the extra support and we shall see you on the next one.